Hello and welcome to another edition of In the Field with UK Extension. I have here with me Adam Huber. I'm the Agriculture and Natural Resources Extension Agent in Allen County, Kentucky. And uh, we're here with Jason Phillips, obviously. And I'm the Extension Agent for Agriculture in Simpson County. And today we're in an alfalfa field here in Simpson County yep. and we're going to be sampling for alfalfa weevils. Mm -hmm. Adam, you know, it's, it's that time of year when it gets to the springtime, right. usually around early April, yep. we'll exceed 190 growing degree days. Uh -huh. that's and, right. and that's when it's recommended that we start sampling for alfalfa weevils. Right. And in today's video, basically what we're going to do is go through and show you the steps on uh, how to go through and, and scout an alfalfa field for alfalfa weevils, kind of give you kind of the equipment that you're going to need, kind of the instructions that you're going to need, and uh, point you in the right directions for uh, chemical applications and recommendations as far as things as far as that goes. Right. So we've got all the necessary tools uh, through the University of Kentucky to help you know how to do this appropriately and what to do in response to your findings and we're going to show you how to use all those things today. Yep. So we'll go ahead and we're going to go about 20 to 25 paces out into the alfalfa field here to get started and uh, we'll we'll take you along with us and show you the steps on what to do. Okay so now we've came uh, we've made about 20 to 25 uh, paces out into the alfalfa field and basically what we're going to do now this is going to be our starting point and uh, we you will either go in a Z formation or a U formation uh, in the alfalfa field. And you're, what you're going to want to do, Jason, is pick up um, about 30, uh, pull up about 30 different plant samples. Um, we'll put those into our bucket uh, top down, and then we'll take those back to the truck, and then we'll do our, our, our larva, larva count there. And um, once we collect our samples, like I say, we'll, we'll go back to the truck, and then we'll kind of explain to you how we go about counting and, and getting our, our sample numbers for our uh, yeah. levels. Okay, so we've gone out into the field and we've collected about 30 stems. So now we're just going to dump these out on the tailgate or pull them out and then lay them here. We'll measure the height of the average plant uh, to know what, what table that we need to be looking at in our UK publication. And uh, then we'll take about three or four stems at a time and vigorously shake them off in the bottom of our bucket and see how many alfalfa weevil larvae that we end up, end up with to determine if we've reached our economic threshold or not for needing to spray. So uh, we'll just go ahead and do that now. I've got a uh, yard stick. This is actually an alfalfa quality stick, but it measures in inches. So that's all we need to be able to do is to measure the length of the average plant so we're probably looking at about 11 inches on this plant um, 10 to 11 inches and that's probably a, a good representation for the average size that's in the field. So when we look at our tables, we're gonna look at, uh, at 10 to 11 inches. And we've recently referred to the UK Ag Weather Center website as well. And we'll tell you how to navigate that page here momentarily. But uh, we've determined that as of today, we're past 220, 226 growing degree days. And the different number of growing degree days is going to let, you, let us know which table that we need to look at. Um, and we'll give you all the references as we proceed through the video. So at this point in time, I'm just going to pull all these out. 
and I have seen a few a few weevils in the bottom of the bucket a few weevil larvae so we know we at least got a few so I'm gonna grab about three or four stems at a time and shake them vigorously into the bucket in an attempt to shake off any larva that may be on there. And once I've done that, I'm gonna place them over to the other side and continue to do that with the rest of the stems. Okay, so what we've done is we've <clears throat> checked to see what our larval count is, and now we're gonna refer to the University of Kentucky publications in order to determine if a spray is warranted. So the first thing that we need to do is to know how many growing degree days that we have accumulated mm -hmm. in our county. Right. So for today, we're looking at Simpson County, and what you would do there is go to the University of Kentucky <clears throat> Ag Weather Center and at the top of the page click on the tab that says degree day models then it'll bring you to a page where on the left hand side you click on degree days um, for alfalfa um, and then you'll pull up a state map that'll show you how many degree days are accumulated for your given county I believe it's degree days for alfalfa weevil is actually what it says. So once you know those growing degree days, that's gonna help you when you refer to our publication. Um, it's Int Fact 127. And this publication is gonna let you know, um, this is gonna get also could serve as instruction for what we're doing today and it's gonna let you know based on the number of growing degree days and the number of larvae that you find in your sample area if a spray application is warranted. So in this case, we found about 15 larvae. Yeah. So um, Adam, based on this publication, um, that tells us that at 226 growing degree days, the number of larvae per 30 stems that we must have to warrant a spray application is 20 or greater. If we find 15 or more, then we're supposed to sample again within two days because right. we're knocking on the door of that economic threshold. Yeah. And let me make mention that a lot of these larvae are, are, are very, small. very small. <laughs> very small. They're teeny. Yep. And so you have to look very hard because when you shake this plant off in the, in the bucket, you're going to have some debris in there. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to have to slowly sift through the debris because some, they can all be seen with the naked eye, but you got to really be looking. Yep. Um, so again, 15 larvae. So that means that we're in two more days, we need to come and scout again. We need to come back and sample 15. this field. Yep. And so, and Adam, if a spray application were warranted, mm -hmm. let's say we hit that 20 or more threshold, yeah. then what would we need to what would we need to do at that juncture? Well, at that point in time, since we are at that threshold, we would want to go onto our UK website and look up publication ENT17. Um, that is a good publication that's going to give you good chemical recommendations for uh, alfalfa weevils and it's got some other uh, stuff on there also for different other other insects uh, as well but it does have uh, one whole section just for alfalfa weevils and it's got different chemicals with different modes of action um, so that's a, that's a good place to start um, you know products like seven warrior mustang max all those are included in there all, you know some of those are different modes of action uh, so just kind of choose what you want to spray um, what mode of action that you're wanting to use and then you know go from there as far as uh, applying your your pesticide and obviously depending on the time of the year mm -hmm. of course you'd need to look at 
uh, harvest intervals and yep. things like that. And of course, um, this publication is going to help you with all those things. Right. So, Adam, I believe we've pretty well walked folks through step by step as to how to sample for alfalfa weevils. Remember, they can be really small, they can be really hard to see, but it's not a difficult process. It just takes a little time, right. but it's certainly worth it to ensure that, uh, you know, you maintain the quality and, and stay ahead of the alfalfa weevil, weevil larva um, feeding damage. Because, you know, without closely monitoring the situation, yep they can get ahead of you. Yeah, and, and like, you know, uh, once you, if you, you know, if you're out in your field and you're, you haven't scouted yet, but you do start to see some, uh, some holes in some of the leaves of your alfalfa plants um, and things like that, because that's where they start. They'll start on the leaves, the buds, uh, and things like that. That's where they kind of start their, uh, their eating at. Right. And so if you start seeing that, you probably need to go ahead and, and scout your field just to see, you know, kind of where that threshold is and where they're at as far as that goes. Um, and you know, you need to refer to the UK Ag Weather Center website, but usually we hit that 190 growing degree days around the start of April. Yeah. So you can just sort of circle that on the calendar and say, okay, April 1st, I'm going to start checking the growing degree days and I'm going to see what we what we've gotten to since january 1 if we've hit 190 or more at that point in time you need to start scouting yep, that's right i think we've you know we've kind of went through everything um, if you do have any questions about uh, you know uh, scouting alfalfa weevils you can contact your local cooperative extension service there's one in every county in the state of kentucky uh, just contact your office they you know be glad to point you in the right directions if you do have any other questions um, after you know watching this video um, but we appreciate everybody joining us today thank you